Hi, and thank you for watching. Today, we have Alpine's new V Power Series amplifier. This particular one is a five channel. We're gonna tell you all about it, so stay tuned. All right, so Alpine just came out with this. It's a brand new uh, five channel amplifier. Okay. Uh, it's, they have, they have three five channel amplifiers now. This would be the first one in the lineup. Um, it's small, it's cute, and it's got some punch. Powerful. Powerful. So let's open this thing up and take a look at it, shall we? All right, it comes with Alpine's little birth certificate as usual. Um, comes in some bubble. Alpine trying to be green. Um, it has, in the packaging, it has its two little wingies. Uh -huh. Now the nice thing about these is they don't require screws. So They'll just, they actually just snap in place. And it also comes with the four channel high level to low level input. Okay. Which we'll talk about in a minute or two. And of course a couple screws. Right, let's go ahead. Set that right there. Let's unbag it. All right, so let's talk about the size. This particular guy is uh, two, and a half, two and a quarter inches thick. Okay. Okay. It is nine and three quarter inches wide. Okay. And eight and five inches deep. So it's a pretty small, it'll probably fit underneath most seats. All right, let's take a look at the sides, the ends here, and take out each end. All right, so this particular one has a four gauge input for both power and ground. It has 60 amps of fusing. Over here it has the five channel inputs and what's unique about this is it has the over under. So the tops are all positive and the bottoms are all negative. So you have channels one through five or channels one through sub um, so that you can do a nice staggered installation. It looks pretty sexy. Turn it around and on the other side, you have your six channel RCA input, which are right here. You have your front, your rear, and your sub. Over here you have your high level input. Now, the nice thing about this particular amplifier is if you are gonna use the high level, this amplifier has auto sense turn on built into it. Now what that basically means for you and I is you won't have to run a remote turn on. It'll read the sound coming in from the high level and automatically turn on the amplifier. Now if you're gonna do standard RCAs, you do have to run a remote turn on. Now, the first set of switches you come to are your input selectors. Now, what these are used for is if you are going to use the RCA inputs, as well as the high level, you have choices. So, input one and two are always going to be required. But if you don't want to run channels three and four, because let's say your head unit only has a single, uh, single RCA output, or a RCA output that's, let's say, front and sub only, uh, you flick this little switch here, and it'll turn uh, the inputs for three and four as one and two. So that means you can run your front inputs here, your sub input here, and three and four will get sound off of one and two. Now that is also true down here for the subwoofer. So let's say you have front input, rear input, but no sub, you can flick this switch down here on the bottom, and that'll give you the ability to run those two inputs and generate its own sub input. Now if you flip both these switches, you can just run your front input. You won't have to run these others. Now a couple instances where that might be cool is if you're, let's say you're gonna just run a Bluetooth receiver into this, um, or if you're gonna use it for something like, I don't know, maybe even a motorcycle, recreational vehicle, or boat, where you're just gonna run uh, an iPod or some form of portable device, plug in these, front inputs and flick these two switches and the whole amplifier will put out sound. Now, across the top you have your front controls, your rear controls, as well as your subwoofer controls. Now, it's gonna have input sensitivity on this particular amplifier runs anywhere between 0.2 volts to four volts. Um, you also have the high and low pass crossover the high pass will give you the ability to adjust between 50 and 400 hertz mm -hmm. on and off, meaning you can turn these little switches right here. Yeah, that little switch will allow you to turn it on and off for your high pass. Now, low pass is always on. 
and it gives you the ability to adjust between 50 and 400 hertz as well as on the highs. Um, it's going to have a base EQ which is going to be between 0 and 12 dBs and the center frequency for that is 50 hertz. Now the other thing it has over here is this little phone jack is for the optional base knob. The base knob model number is the RUX KNOB for knob. All right, so that's all the little cool settings on this bad boy. Now, how much power does it how have? How much power would they have? Right, isn't that the question? Yes. Okay, so at four ohms, this guy will do 40 watts by four and 150 by one. Okay. At two ohms, it'll do 60 watts by four and 250 watts by one. So essentially how this is probably going to be run most of the time is 4 ohms for the highs and more than likely 2 ohms for the sub. So you get that 250 watts, you're going to be running a, you know, a dual voice coil, 2 ohm, I'm sorry, 4 ohm, to get a 2, yeah, Jesus, 4 ohms, four ohm. to get that 2 ohm load. Uh, this will probably do a shallow mount woofer really well, Yes. Uh, 10 or 12. Um, it'll probably, if you're putting a conventional woofer on it, probably looking at maybe a 10 max. I wouldn't say anything bigger than a 10, unless you have a really, really efficient 12. Maybe like a Type E, you know, Type E woofer or a, a baseline, baseline oh, 12. Baseline, baseline 12 yes. were great on this. Yes. Yeah, I forgot about those. How's that even possible? Um, that's about it for this guy. It's a great little amp Alpine just came out with. So. Guy comes in, he's got a factory radio. Uh, he wants to just make it sound better and add a subwoofer. Perfect rate, perfect little amp. Tuck it up underneath his seat, put it behind a back panel. Great little amp. That brings us to a close. Yes, I'll play. Say goodbye. All right, so thank you for watching. Uh, remember, you guys can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Have a good night, and we'll see you next time. If you have any questions about this product or anything else, please feel free to leave it in the description, and we'll get back to you. Um, otherwise, have a great night. Bye. Felicia.